Hello guys, my name is Mother and welcome to my channel. This is the 25th tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell programming. Now, in this tutorial, we're gonna check check out how to perform arithmetic operations on uh, floats or real numbers. And um, by real numbers, I mean numbers like uh, 10.5 or 50.32 or uh, any number that has a decimal point and something on the right side and something on the left side. So uh, I discussed when I spoke about EXPR that EXPR is cap incapable of uh, you know performing such evaluation. So we'll obviously have to use another tool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a shell script in which uh, we'll perform all these uh, evaluations. And I'll call it ss9.sh. I'll save it in my home directory and uh, I'll put a comment something like uh, floating point arithmetic right and uh, there's a typo there doesn't really matter it's a comment but still I don't like to have typos in my sentences so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna create two variables and uh, the first one is going to be called a and I'll, I've given it a value 10.5 and the second variable B can have uh, any other value something like 3.5 maybe right now uh, what I'm uh, gonna do is I'm gonna do four uh, evaluations I'm gonna first add dollar a to dollar B and then subtract dollar B from dollar a and then multiply the two variables and then divide one by the other so dollar a plus dollar b is going to be the first expression we evaluate and then dollar a minus dollar b is going to be the second one dollar a multiplied by dollar b is going to be the third one and dollar a divided by dollar d oh, sorry dollar b is going to be the last one now multiplication symbol has special meaning as I've uh, told you guys and we would have to escape it just as we did with EXPR right now I said that we cannot use EXPR and we have to use uh, another program and this program is called BC now BC works in a slightly different way uh, you know you can't uh, use BC with the uh, simple reverse codes and then echo the results out instead what we would have to do this time is we would have to echo these statements out first and we would have to feed the result of the echo operation to BC so when I would echo dollar a plus dollar B what would happen is dollar a plus dollar B would be redirected for output on my screen right but I don't want it to go to my screen instead I wanted to go to BC which is the program that I'm going to use so I'll have to use the pipe symbol now the pipe symbol you can get by pressing the shift key and then uh, pressing the backslash character the same character that's uh, between your backspace and the enter key right and then you have to type in BC which is the name of the program that we're going to use and uh, I'll explain this thing again just a second let me first uh, type in this oops there you go so what I meant was when I echo this thing then what would happen is dollar a plus dollar b I mean if I would if I would you know just do it on the terminal if I would just type in echo dollar a dollar plus dollar b what would happen is dollar a plus dollar b would be printed or displayed on my screen right now I not want it to go to my screen instead I want it to be fed as input as an expression for my program BC so I would have to tell the shell to somehow take this and give it to BC and ask BC to you know I mean uh, do the evaluation and the way in which you do that is uh, by using pipe symbol and uh, this symbol is known as pipe symbol and I told you how you can get it now this entire thing is going to get get me my results so dollar a plus dollar b is going to be 10.5 plus 3.5 which is going to be what 14 but how would i echo the result out we haven't really done anything to echo the result out yet right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to first assign uh, these values or the outputs to variables and then the, and then i'll echo out the variables one by one right so uh, in order to evaluate this entire expression I'll have to put the expression in reverse quotes that's what I'm gonna do there you go it really is as simple as that 
and then I'll uh, assign these uh, outputs to variables so I've used a and b already so c would have to keep this d would have to keep this e would have to keep this result and f would have to keep this result and now my work is 99.99% done I just have to echo out my variables c d e and f so echo dollar c echo dollar d echo dollar e and echo dollar f so there you go my script is ready I'll first run it to you guys and then uh, do a recap there's my terminal sh space ss9 dot sh and I press the enter key there are my outputs so 10.5 plus 3.5 is 14 so there you go you have the addition and 10.5 minus 3.5 is 7 so you have the subtraction result there and 10.5 times 3.5 is uh, 36.7 and if you don't trust me or if you don't trust Unix then you can use a calculator and well Unix is going to do the calculation anyway but you know you can still verify it so 10.5 times oops 10.5 times 3.5 is 36.75 and that's why it's it is just you know I mean displayed it to what one decimal place so that's why it's 36.7 and the last result was 10.5 divided by 3.5 and you can use a calculation for that too 10.5 divided by 3.5 is 3 so there you go you have 3 on screen so now I'll do a brief recap of what we did in this tutorial Firstly, we had to do floating point arithmetic and I told you guys in the last tutorial that we cannot use EXPR, we have to use BC. Now BC works in a different way, it doesn't work in the same way as EXPR and uh, what I've done is I've echoed out the expressions that I wish to evaluate, right, through the echo statements and I've fed, I have fed the output of my echo statements to BC using the pipe symbol. Now this is new so you know you can uh, make a note of it and uh, after uh, BC has evaluated these expressions I have stored the outputs in variables C, D, E and F and then I have uh, echoed out those values in the echo statement at the end so there you go I hope you guys have understood and uh, it really is a simple concept it's just that I've discussed a uh, uh, lot of things in one tutorial I've discussed BC and I've discussed pipe symbols and I've also used reverse quotes but I'm sure you guys are capable of handling much more complicated stuff this is probably kid stuff for you guys so thank you so much for watching this tutorial I'll see you guys in the next one in which we'll discuss something interesting again uh, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon